right, and Bonnie Rocks too. Yes, you know. Yes, yes, How about yes. that. Not and Dennis, Dennis Brown, Dennis Brown was just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, he was the first. Yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. But Derek, can you yes. hear? Yeah, just tell us how you got started in the... I know you're an Excel, Excel Sorian, right? You used to go to Excel Excel Sorian. Yes, yes. Vinet Price is very proud of that, that you went to Excel <laughs> Yeah, one of the things a lot of people don't know is that the headmaster, it was my uncle, my, my mother, the brother Wesley Powell. Yes, yes. Vinet told me yeah. that. Yes, Smart indeed. Early. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So tell us, you know, how you got started. Well, um, you know, in the days, my brothers, my elder brothers, not too far from me, was um, always into music, always playing the radio or something, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know you. You listened and you heard certain songs by certain artists that you liked, you know. One of them, I guess, a lot of people, if I say it now, they wouldn't realize what I'm talking about. Some may know, but so I'll say that um, I was impressed and felt good to hear songs from the four freshmen. Oh, yes. <laughs> and my favorite singer at that time was Billy Eckstein. Okay. Nat King Cole, Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, people like that, you know, and um, the Ink Spots, you know, I I um, listened to such nice songs and I guess it grooved me. And the times. It groove, groove me, to love music then. Right, right. Yeah. And My brothers were the one who always tuned in to, um, at first it was ZQI. Before mm -hmm. it became Radio Jamaica mm -hmm. and Rediffusion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I remember so, that. Um, listening to those songs really inspired me. And then now, uh, you moved around and went to certain like, spots on a corner, you know, mm -hmm. that played um, the sound systems, you know. Well, let me know it has disco techno gone to them. <laughs> but it's really a sound, sound systems that played a variety of American blues. And um And the jukebox also. Oh yes. Yes, I used to punch a jukebox hard. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um you kind of grooved in from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you grooved in from there and um the ball kept rolling and at Excelsior, which I attended. I attended Exeter from North Street. Not when it was at Mountain View. Okay. Okay, folks. Um <laughs> way back here. Yeah, that that <laughs> way back. <laughs> yes. But you feel you feel happy and nice. You, you, you remember those things. You oh know? yeah, oh yeah, of course. Memories, man. Yes. Uh, Excelsior now we you know, in the farm. There were several of us that used to beat the desk and sing when, when we got the chance, anytime we got the chance. You know? Among those was the folk brothers who gave you oh Carolina. Okay. You know? Okay. Yes, they were there. Yes. Um, you know, our great cricketer was there too, but a, just a little after, according to Walsh. Oh, you know? okay, okay. And, um, as I said, we used to beat the this, the, 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 the this, them and sing, and of course, when the teacher come in you know, to start our class and everybody turned down. Everybody, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but when it was, you, you know, it, we got one or two detention, you know, for that. Disturbing the class or disturbing, <laughs> dis <laughs> disturbing the school, you know, right? Right. At the main hall where we gathered for worship, mm -hmm. there was, of course, um, what they said, what they really said was that um, apart from the, everybody gathering, for worship, there was times now when it's break break time. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, lunch time. Lunch time. Lunch time. Yeah, man. We um we used to go up there and start bang up the piano, you know, and sing. Okay. And then the whole the whole um school would come down. Cause that was to them that was an attraction. Mm -hmm. And the other attraction was that we got several detentions <laughs> for disturbing, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> disturbing the school, you know. Uh, and, um, but yeah, yeah, anything that's sweet me every time I think of it. Mm -hmm. When it's time now, oh, concert time, you know, mm -hmm. either end of term or any little function, mm -hmm. who would they call on? The persons that got the detention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess they realized that we um the creative they realized that we had talent and whatever right. and whatever. Right. Yes. And um many people that I can remember apart from the folks, but they had several people that Roy Robinson and people like that that um had great talent. Um I would say that apart from Disturbing, I can't. The, 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 the teachers so were disturbing the, the school, yeah. But they still call and us, as I said. Um, it went on, and um, we used to you see, sound system mm -hmm. it, it chartered a lot of talent in Jamaica, you know, yeah. Because we used to listen to tune them, and you know, we love music. Music was a thing, you know. Is that how you found you, 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 you formed the Driving Juniors? Not yet. Okay. It was sang and all that. Claudia sang Junior. Mm -hmm. But we, even before that, I used to go to Virgin's Opportunity Hour oh, at yes. the Palace Theatre. Oh, yeah. uh, uh. And Luan Duel, I said, why most can do better than somebody? Some of these people, you know, mm -hmm. in my mind, I figure well, I can enter and come through. So I entered. Call me John, but no call me Tom, John Tom. Okay. <laughs> oh, John, uh, John Tom was later on. Um, actually turned to Fitz Dog the next time. Okay, yes. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a number two song, you know. Oh, yeah? John okay. Tom, yes. That, that's a living mentor, you know. Yes. First one. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Hardly oh, Williams and them guys, man. Um, I entered because I said, "Boy, well, most can do better than one and two of them people." <laughs> and you know what? Going on when you win, you must say four pound. Huh? It was four. Hours. Maybe it was new so much. Enough I think two pounds a second. Yeah, enough money that. <laughs> yeah, two pounds a second. Them days there. I entered and go on and go on. I feel I fairly got a good reception. Wonder, wonder what will I place? Because mm -hmm. on the first and second, them give them um, a prize. A prize, it? right? Yes. So my little two pound that I didn't enter with for come second. <laughs> and after the show, what sweet me is that whole for man gang around me and say, "Boy, give me a little thing out there." <laughs> <laughs> two pounds, you know. <laughs> With those days, uh, you know, if you get a two shilling or so, it's a whole heap still. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you can buy a couple of bullet hunting and, and a snowball. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, from there, from there we continued. Um, and what came after that now? I didn't win, right? Mm hmm. But this time now, Claudius and Junior, who attended Excelsior, his brother, which, was, which also joined the, the group later, Herman Sang, he was a keyboard man, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he had a band that um, used to play for Sir Cox and Don't Beat, Studio One. And a lot of hits he had played on Claudia Sang Jr. But it's sang on a right now. All right, they're coming for the second round now. And we, true, we used to listen so much wicked sound to them. We learned some of them. And sang on a right now. Who would expect 
that song and all right, would have come with a tune. When I'm just here at two sound dance recently, <laughs> it's like a big surprise, you know. Mm -hmm. When we start to sing the tune, the theater go up. Yeah, man, enough money stone down from when all them things there. You know. What year was this? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't have to put the cell phone, but that was really early. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember that. Right. Anyway, you know? That's all right. That's all right. But thank God that the father of me is um, still here yes. laughing and enjoying life, even though you go through certain tribulations, you know? Oh, yes. We all have to go through that. Yes, so there was a song on a rat. Explosion. Everybody start talking about us. You know, a great thing, there was a certain song we wanted to, to um, enter with the next time, because we qualify, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. got up in the talent thing, you know, Virgin's Opportunity Hour. And we wanted to come with a song you now, a tear on the place, you know. Um, it's called Your Mind, All Mind. Oh, be you, be you. Be you be you you be that, that, I mean, <laughs> them don't expect that again, you know. <laughs> yes, but who helped me with the words? Who was certain about certain words? Was another great duet that was tearing up the place too. You know, before us, mm. Sims and Robinson. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Later on called Bunny and Scully. Bunny and Scully, man. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, he helped me with some of the words, you know. Great people. If people live good. If some people really live good. Yeah, man. Yeah, and we man. enter with the tune, man, because we get the right words, the man thing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what happened after that. But after we sing that song, no man expected we could be coming with a tune like that. <laughs> You're mine, all mine. And it just lit down the whole palace theater flat. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And, um, the funds at that time went up a little. I think first place was six. Okay. And um, second became four. You know? And we, we mash it up. We lick it up. Bad, bad, you know. You know your mm. people go on, man. <laughs> mm. the I, I said music is like a, a medicine, you know? Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 I tell you, boy. It's very thrilling when you hear certain songs. Mm hmm. You know, when, when, when the girl them said, give them goose pimple, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> the girl yes. yes. So from there, no, from there, no, um, they also had an opportunity over also at Ambassador Theatre. Mm -hmm. That's my theatre. Mm -hmm. And we go over there too. And they say, if you lick up the two, because when, when we are trying to see why all the crowd go crazy, I said, boy, I have to kill them over to the other opportunity over that side. Mm. And we did that and we couldn't stop singing. We sing, we sing it about three, four times. Mm. Can't sing it, we have to continue singing it. And the movement started from there. You know, because we get the name now and everything and all that. I remember, I give a score in that time after winning and getting the accolades that I used to think they um they picked me out mm -hmm. and um and carried me to the theater. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember now why should I forget that? It will come back to me. The theater that was right next to Tivoli. That's Queen's Theatre, yeah. man. Queens. Yeah, man. Ah, Queens. <laughs> Queens. Yeah, man. And I tell you something, Riley. Mm -hmm. Me never have to sing at all, not even know what are a line. What? Guess why? Why? I come out in a dungaree. <laughs> well, I know, man. Fashion is I see the two sides of them. <laughs> Your silver studs go down, you know, right sure. down, you know. If I don't see that. <laughs> why? It's mash. I tell you. Hey, remember that, you know. You remember <laughs> that thing, you know. Yeah, well, it was big. It was big. Great. Classic, classic Derek Harriet style, man. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, man. Yes. Yes, I used to um, come on with some stuff, though, that I started to get from the U.S. 
Mm -hmm. They call it dungaree and it's all a, and two sides that is a leopard. Right, exactly. And them thing there, you know, they come with them thing there. You know. a, no, no. Your friend, the friend said, come on, come on. You, bring it, you must get something from them people, man. <laughs> you know, it's something exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I never forget my, that my mother sent for me in my hop along Cassidy sweatshirt. Oh, yes. I remember that. It's like that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> cowboy thing, them hot, you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the wrong kid and all the man. Yeah, so he continued from there. And um, we, I was coming to New York around that time when I say to myself, I come into Jamaica because well, I never forget when the Christmas morning she was the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say, I forget when it's Christmas morning thing, yeah, boy. But in coming, Joe Queen heard about us because we went to stand the motor. And when we went to stand the motor, we made a disc. Okay. Right. Of 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 the the song. You're mine, all mine. Oh, mm -hmm. be you, be you. And we did um one or two of our um originals, you know, lollipop girl and things like that. Your your mine. Mm -hmm. And when we did this, it was surprising to everyone that because we did a certain song and a song was playing it. You know, them, them area song mm -hmm. named Thunderbird. Okay. Yes. And they used to play at um, the area in uh, Maxil here, top of Maxil. I, I don't know why I should be forgetting the name of the place you now. But the song played it, Thunderbird. Yeah. And they couldn't take it off. <laughs> But 15 times a thing play over and over, you know. Rewind, rewind. <laughs> and you know, Junior Carelli. Uh -huh. If not in other countries, the word get round. <laughs> yes. Coxon here bought it. Um, Joe Creed here bought it. So what else? I tell you, when I was coming back to Jamaica, Joe Creed already had a welcoming party to try and get us to record the song for him. Okay. And so it happened, you know, which is unexpected to me. Right. So as as as, as I said that coming home now, Kaiwa boy after them opportunity out here and everything there, you want to star no carry real place, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Carry them did the coin like real estate musical. Oh yes, exactly. Carry was a place, man. That's that's the mecca. It's done in a nice soft seats <laughs> and, and things like that. Yes. So we came for the Carib show, and in turn, Drew Creed grabbed onto us to record us. Wanted us to record it. that song for him. She's so sweet. She's my lollipop girl. When we kiss, you know, blah blah blah. And um, we made that, and we made another one called "My Heart's Desire." And Juke we started to mash up the place now. Cause the people them love the songs them so much. So he he kept it for quite some months before releasing it. I can remember. You know, mm -hmm. and when he decided, people asked him, "What time man we want to play it?" You know, and I release it, and it happened that he decided finally to release it. Nineteen fifty-nine. Yes, he released it just coming on to Christmas. Two songs he released, and the two of them shoot up the charts number one it was it told them was that number one uh, lot of was number one mm -hmm. my house is there was number four at the same time on the charts 
Okay. And so it was a really Merry Christmas for Jew Creed. Mm -hmm. And in heaven, June as also my group, <laughs> you know. And it went on. It went on till, till you know, you get the big name now, you know. Yes. Because the body said, boy, that you know, you know, a lot of pop world, you know. And Joe, um, Sir Cox and Don't Beat. To the one man. He who can't for me, I said, boy, I will do something for you, you know, brother. <laughs> okay. you know, yes, you know. <laughs> and we did that thing the fam. Over the river. Yeah, yeah over the river. river. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sky. Mm -hmm. It's living in the sky, you know. Yeah. Yes. And um, number one, 19, 1961. The 61, yeah. Mm -hmm. 1961. And um, so it went on. It was just that Coxon had a certain apart from what he has produced mm -hmm. he made a label that, that label was mostly for the jive and you the jive and junior songs that would come on that oh, okay <clears throat> yes so we went on to make um other hits and whatever and whatever and a little after that too, not too long after that um i kind of had a little expertise and studio work and you know exactly what to do you know you, you get experiences and saw things happen with other people and we started to do it in my first my first sit of the solo man after the driving unit's trick there's many more stories for the driving unit which i'm unable to give the car with um going to night time <laughs> right. um, I, I did um my first sit of the solo man was I care? You know I love you. You know I care. Right. <laughs> nice little tune, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went on. Um, I did. That was a solo. I did another solo hit, which was called I'm Only Human. You know, I'm just a man. And, um, went on you know hit after hit and the, 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 just before all these things happening as a solo man to slip away i went to the united states back to the united states and quite a few of the jiving juniors were there claudia song was there valman burke yes mm -hmm. um one other person oh herman song was there too if i can remember vaguely and in new york we decided to do a session and guess who we got now people who used to arrange for the shirelles Ch jackson and all them people what? i went to that studio mirror sound studio Paul and come a couple of hits from there. And um, I, from that place, guess what we have now? We used to say the New York driving units. We made, we made a smash in it because the band was so good. Buddy Lucas was one of the hand man, they made him do 7 Eleven. Props, spraps, spraps, pan up, tap, tan up. Mm -hmm. That was a big tool and the sound system that you can He was a tenor man. And here we did an original song that I wrote called Sugar Dandy. Yeah, man, I remember that. That's a wicked song, man, Sugar Dandy. Wicked <laughs> man, in, 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 that time the false it a ring, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, that song, I don't know, it just mash up the place. People couldn't even believe Sensu Yaka. It's like them said, but I know the foreign tune, you know? <laughs> and, and the soul about the guy was wicked, you know? Okay. For the Lucas. Yeah. So things like that was happening, you know, from strength to strength. So even though we went to um, New York, as I say, um, things happened for me over there. Yes, you used to do so much parties, you know? Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are the top party, man. Everybody about them big party. Uh, have to have us. <laughs> Which is good, you know. The kids swell sometimes, but, you know. <laughs> it's one of them things, you know. That was good, of course. And music, man. Yeah, man. Music, music heals. And, and in those days, the man, you know, it, it was like, it was food. Was oh, no, food. son. <laughs> you know, yes. You know, them days we have to take a time with subway thing or a bus ride or whatever, or whatever. <laughs> subway and bus. You, got, you got through it. You got through it. You, of course. You know? snow, mm-hmm. b- between snow and all, you have to go through all the snow and all of that. Oh, well, yes. You, you know, no big deal. <laughs> I don't know about nothing, no big deal, because me, that man, I like the cold, cold business at all. <laughs> but you young them days, they can't take it, you know? No, but we had to do it, Derek. We had to do it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> it's an experience. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Brooklyn was the mecca, man. So you, you did a lot of shows in Brooklyn at that time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I guess you never had much problem with the ladies. Oh, locks. Sure. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't show enough, they swarmed us. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> Yes, that that's a good part of it. I'm so calm my face, but I call my face dog, right? <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, it was it was a it was a good crazy time, you know. But lovely as I said, the music, nothing like the music, man. Yes, I tell you. Yes. you went by and I've been helped by quite a few people mm-hmm. along the way. Yes. Greatly helped by um the lovely, great Lorna Thomas. She was a really humanitarian. Yeah, but... Them say my son is humanitarian. You know, <laughs> I think I can put her in my, my section yeah. of being a humanitarian. Met Lorna when I was in the, working in the bank at Nostra and yes. Eastern Parkway. <laughs> yeah. In the bank? Yeah, 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 yeah. When she used to come to, come to the bank to, to, to cash a check. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. And, and many other people has really helped along the way and tried to push you to reach to the top. You know? You have some of those people that, that have helped you reach to the top, are they still around today? Some are and some aren't. Oh, because... Okay. Um, Apart from pushing, pushing me to the top, it also, it also inspired me to try to, to try to put others to the top. Of course, uh, uh, yes, because you've produced a lot of um, artists. Yes, and uh, one of those are the chosen few mm-hmm. who did Isaac Hayes, Shaf went to number one in Jamaica. You know, Shaf. Mm-hmm. Bonnie Brown and people like that. And Scotty. Scotty. Yes. And also you got a hand in Dennis Brown. Dennis Brown. I recorded Dennis Brown first. He came to the store. I knew his father who was an actor. Um, his brother Basil Brown. Mm-hmm. His brother Basil Brown is up this side here. In in um, New York. And he's a great comedian, very good, you know. Okay. So then he came to me as a young little lad. I had just left New York, where I, go and, I always go in and come in, like two homes, you know. No, between Jamaica and New York. Right. And I bought in a record shop, I heard this song playing, you know, from outside. No Man is an Island. By, the, by I think it was the Miller Larks. And I took it back home to do it because it had a falsetto in it and I, I had a good falsetto, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I decided to do it. But then Dennis Brown came around the same time. So I decided to teach Dennis Brown to sing, to sing that song. Okay. And he was practicing it. Right? But um, I think one of those days he slipped out. Somebody heard carry him to um, Sir Cox and Don't Beat Studio One, and they did that song. 
but it was me who taught in the song, the words of the song. Mm -hmm. And um, it ended up in Studio One section. But me and Cox are good friends and like brothers, so we never carry no animosity to each other because that was done behind my back. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who, you know, but I was the first who recorded Dennis okay. along the way. And um, a song called Lips of Wine. Lips of Wine, yeah, I've heard that song. Yeah, man. Lips of Wine, whoa, whoa Lips of Wine. Yep. In the morning. But Lips of Wine is, is the title, it wasn't too right before, you know. No. And I changed it to Lips of Wine. Because <laughs> more, more, he sang that part in the song. Mm -hmm. I said, no, that's a better title. Okay. You know? So I changed it changed it to lips of wine that title and it worked out best you know maybe for my experience and so forth you know but the big hit he had for me was um silhouettes oh that is big hit for me that, that and he a... did that soul song okay everybody loves that and think it's one of the best ever it's called witch it a lion man oh yes but yes. I mean, that, that that was your label of course. You're nice. They're very nice, man. Very nice. Those yeah. songs are, are embedded in the... How are you saying real when you say with my little? <laughs> you mean um, the pirates were at hand? <laughs> of course. You know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. You yes. Know, and they don't really give you the... Great version. Um, Bonnie Brown and myself um, did the background harmony. You know, because all of us were close. Okay. Yeah. And there's many other nice hits on his album, you know. And it's one of the classic albums with those songs on it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that's when you moved to Twin Gates. How, what year did you move to Twin Gates? Because you're still there. Yes. When I did, I moved to Twin Gates. I think it was 73, you know. 72, okay. 72 or 73. Yeah, around there. Yeah. And still there after all these years, man. Great yes. I mean, take a look at breaking. At the moment, mm -hmm. but I'm planning to come back some fabulous way. Because what is happening now, guess what? All the songs them from them places. Right? Mm -hmm. A Chinaman who I deal with in, in, in um, Japan. And all over otherwise. All of a sudden, when some people say, finally, out oh, now, record the debut again. They say, oh, yes. All the people are asking for now is vinyl. <laughs> yeah, the man from Japan say, um, him say, any amount of vinyl, any, any amount that you have. A senior team, you know, he has a, a, a um, network mm -hmm. for music, Jamaican music. Very powerful, you know, Jamaican music. Yeah, of course. Very powerful. So things still happening. So that good thing. Sometimes, sometimes, folks, no throw away the little thing out, you know, just catch it on the side and preserve it because you never can't tell. You never know. You never yeah. know. You may, you may become um, a very rich man after a while. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once it has violin, especially music is so good, you know. Nice. Yeah, preserve it. Music is a staff of life, man. You know, mm -hmm. it, it keeps you sane. <laughs> yes. You know. Yes. So, life goes on. So much of the things happened. You know. And my niece... My name, my brother's daughter, mm -hmm. right? Kim Harriet. Kim, Kim Harriet, yes. Yes. She did a nice cover version of Just Wanna Be Your Joy. Mm -hmm. Did very well. It was not a smash hit, but it was an acceptable song by the masses. And, um, oh, I, because I like this song a lot, I asked her to do it for me, and she did it and did a good version. 
right now companies trying to get it to release it's called woman of the ghetto okay yes i try to remember who did the original it could be marlena Shaw, I think. but she did a very nice reggae version you know the no generation backed it that was a band that um was very good in playing they played at most of my big dances that was kept at sombrero club oh yeah okay yeah and the vip vip club was the old time glass bucket you know <laughs> like in, right near to half a tree day yes right, so, um, right right kim you said kim, kim kim is your niece right yes is she a pastor Her father is kenny Ken, you is a New York man. Yeah, I, Ken, yeah, Ken, I haven't seen Kenny in years, man. How is he? Kenny, where he, he passed away. He passed Okay, wow. In my father side of the family, only me and. Yes, I remember Kenny. My sister. Yeah, yeah. Sister who was twin. Mm hmm. Yes, we call her Sweetie. Law is a right name, but we call her Sweetie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Born and grow in the roots of Excelsior. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Excelsiorians, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, family, yes. Nice people, nice people. Yeah. You know. So what's in store for Derek now? Um, you know, what are your plans? Uh, we well, you know you are doing a little surgery up there and things like that and Yes. Yes. I love surgery. Yeah, everything is going good though. For that part, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Something you don't know, feel the greatest you can get a couple of falls. Okay. Uh, having a fall is not a great thing when you hit your head or something. I had a fall that I got a little bump right over the right eye. Mm -hmm. Yes. That was not such a great fall at all. Okay, you gotta be so careful, Derek. You know. Yes, you don't know, but sometimes you don't know what you know, just take you. Yeah, well, true. Yes. True. I'm looking about that now to do, you know? Okay, okay. Yes, good. things like that. Good, good. But as we get older, you know, look at things happen, but... Hey, we all have to get I, older. I still have the right spirit here, sir. <laughs> exactly. I still have the spirit. And yes. still, if possible, I'll always try and help others, if I can. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, because I've quite a few... You'd be surprised to know the amount of things that have to come out that is not released yet. Have a nice two songs I did with Luciana too. Uh, things like that to come out. Original, you know. I, I don't want to mention um the names yet, but um good classic type of song. Nice, okay. Looking but forward to it. Wicked reggae. Okay. Wicked reggae, man, you know? Okay. Yeah, and I'm proud of Luciana because he had some real good stuff. You know, and so it's other uh, many Jamaicans coming up now. You know, and you are still producing, man. You're still helping, especially, especially with the fem females. Uh -huh. Marcel Griffiths is still my number one, you know. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well. but you have had a great female singer, you know. Mm. Yeah, Chelsea is a girl that's coming up too. Okay, very nice, attractive, and can make her moves. You know, she was featured recently, I think it was last night or the night before. She was on what, Jimmy Kimmel? Oh, she, oh yes, 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 she was on Jimmy Yeah, sure, yes, yeah, she yeah. did actually that song. Yeah. They didn't talk to her or anything, but no interview, but um, she featured on, her, on one of the songs them. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. You can't bother. millions of people watching, watching yeah. her. Yep. Exactly. You know, anything like that, I mean, any artist hope for. Well, you know. you. And well, another great artist coming up. Yeah, and, you, and you're still helping them in every way you can, in any way you can. Any way that I can help. Yeah, man. That, that, is good. that is good. Because you have to depart that knowledge onto other people. You know, you can't keep yeah. it to yourself. And that little guy, um, he loves the music so much. Dennis Brown is his idol. Right. He was, he recently died at a young, young age, named Peter. We're going to miss him because I think things would happen with him, you know? Mm -hmm. Some people just break them on, you know? True, true. Yeah, just the break them on. 
he came by me a lot, and anyway that I could help him, I helped him. You know? I mean, you see him come with his little son. And you know, you see them moving and talking and whatever. <laughs> and the son get out of hand, he was disciplining. <laughs> and he left us recently. Oh, okay. Because we never can tell what will happen next. But we still pray to the Father and hope for the best. You know? But you know, Derek, mm -hmm. one thing you have to do is put everything down in a book. Um, either either a book or on videotape because we want you to tell your story, not his story. And mm -hmm. you let the people them know where the music is coming from and and how it is how you get through it all the, all those years, you know. So you know you have to put that down on pen and paper or videotape. Yeah, plenty in there. Started it, you know. Okay. But I have to really get it together you now and continue because people ask me, they me, me, phone me, why do you don't write a book? And I say, yeah, man, coming up. <laughs> they get a half a star, stop saying, coming up, now come. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes, yes. You people, have to need, do that. people would need to know, um, make a thing that you go through to in life. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you know. I'm going to volunteer to do that for you. So, especially about the video part, you know, we can. See how long you're gonna be there in New York. Take a, a a ride up there and do something. You know, at least we, we can start it. Yes, you know? we can start. Yeah, it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you true. Know? But we, we we have to get it done. We, we can't. You're have a close man of the music. You're always supporting the music mm -hmm. and always helping Jamaican artists. And um, we're proud that you still. You know, <laughs> okay, okay. because um, even though I never contacted you. I was one as one and where the hell are you? <laughs> and then you know, we, 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 we link up. Yeah, exactly. Up, yes. You know, it's a pleasure doing this. My talk father, with my you father used to tell me about you, you know. So um, people know a couple of things that you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. mm -hmm. We have to do that, Derek, and you know, get mm -hmm. get get the, the real story, the real legends of, of our music. Yeah. What they experience. And then when I was at VIP club and Sombrero, mm -hmm. um, some of the great bands accompanied us and the rest of the artists. Um, Wayne Harmon, Hells Angels, you know, um, Soul Syndicate. Oh, lots. And so much of them, so much people like in a circle in a that circle. became big. Yeah, I was with them the other day. Yeah, last week. Yes. Yes. I asked them any time about me. But what about, what, what, together. What, what about your children? Third world. Third world. Back up a whole platoon in me you now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, but Derek, what about your children? Anybody following in your footsteps? Unfortunately, no. The only one, the ones I know is, 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 is Kizzy, Kara, and, uh, Kizzy, Kara, and, uh, Kizzy, Kara Sue, and Kerry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you to do? <laughs> Fine. Remember that too, yes. Yes. They are in um, Washington and one one got married and is in is married to Trinidad and he's um Yeah, Kizzy. Kizzy got married. Kizzy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean I'm in touch with them via Facebook. Yeah. You know. Those are my little babies, man. You we know that tree, but the first one was um the first one got um you know she worked for the prisons, you know. Oh yeah? Yes. And um she she's was around quite quite a few years before. Okay. Marilyn. Okay. Marilyn, she yeah. She was there, um, Years before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, boy, Derek, again, thank you so much for being here. I'm part of Ivy Times telling your story. We got to do this again, you know, after your surgery and you're feeling a lot better. So thank you for hanging with me, for chatting with me, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and we do appreciate it. And a lot of people are sending all the blessings to you, you know, Lady Vinette Price out of New York, 
Brother Eagle and Brother Derebro out of Irie Times. We all thank mm -hmm. you for your contribution to the music industry for what you have done. Uh, you, you got your OD, right? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Yes. Well deserved. You should, you should get an OM. You don't want to show up on everything. No, man, no matter how showing off, man. No, man, you deserve it. You got the time. You got the time. Yeah, it's well. No, you, 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 yeah. you, you deserve that and more. Trust me, for mm -hmm. the work that you have put in and the people that you have helped over the years. Mm -hmm. You deserve all of that, boss. And thank you so much yeah. again. Right. And I have, a, I have a daughter who is um, is a nurse, you know. Oh yeah. And three boys. Derek Arya Junior. But wait, you know what? You're gone. Yeah, yeah. I school in on the base one time. I don't know what happened. I've, I've not been in contact with them. Oh, okay. For quite some time, and that's very bad. I forget myself organized. Yes, yes. No. I've organized with all the girls, remember, not with the boys. <laughs> okay. All the girls them came to look for me, man, and the grandchildren. Them. Yes, uh, yes, and definitely. Them really proud of me and, you know, the field boots up. Of course, the, fa the father is a legend, you know. They, they have to be proud of you. Yes. They have to be proud of you. Mm. So all the best, Derek, and thank you again so much. Yes. All right. And it's a pleasure. So it was a pleasure. To be in contact with um, great Jamaicans all over the world. Yes, indeed. Yes, 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 yes indeed. Yes. Again, I will link with you a little later, all right? Yes. Thanks to everybody in, in the world. So call it the world. The world, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Because even, even the group that is not behaving too good um, came to my shop one time, the Russians. And I'm saying, you know Derek, right? And say, yeah, oh, oh, we know Derek. Right? <laughs> them know me, I still them on my tune. It's your life, you know, our oh, life. Oh gosh, I'm telling you. You know, so the music is strong. Thank yes. God. Yes, indeed. All right, Derek. Thank you so much. All the best. All the best, boss. Take care, you hear? All Have right. no fear. The chariot will be there. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, boss. Later. Enjoy. Yeah. Yes, Harry family. Wow. Indeed, Mr. Derek Chariot Harriet, live right here on IrieTimes.com. Oh, boy. That, 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 that was indeed very, very good. I love that. As we continue, let me see if I can get this now. Call me John, but no call me Tom, John Tom. Call me John, but no call me Tom, John Tom. Call me John, but no call me Tom, cause one man cannot name John and Tom. Oh, no call me so. Oh, no call me so. Call your brother so. Who's that call your sister so? Who's that call your papa so? Oh, you call John Tom. 